How long then should we spend practicing the piano each day? It's one of those frequently asked questions to which unfortunately there's no easy answer. So stay tuned for some ideas and things to bear in mind as you make this important decision. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. This is Tommy with Tommy's Piano Corner, the place for returning pianists or indeed anybody who loves the piano to share tips and ideas of how to get the best from this great hobby. If it's your first trip here, then please do remember to subscribe. Simply click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen now and it's all done for you. Many of us worry about how much time we need to spend practicing each day in order to make any progress. However, of course, you then need to think, what do you actually mean by make progress? Progress can be many things. It can be achieving a level. It can also indicate that you need to do something within a defined time frame. So the amount of work you need to do in order to achieve your goal will vary depending on what goal you have. Then secondly, of course, I think we need to be very clear about what we actually mean by practicing. To my mind, simply sitting at the piano for an hour or two hours a day and playing things through with mistakes and not really trying to fix those mistakes can't constitute practice, it's just playing for enjoyment. Let's think about the first half of the problem then. I mean, how good do you actually want to get? If you want to be a world-renowned concert pianist, then clearly you're going to need to put in an awful lot of hours. However, if you're a hobbyist and you want to play piano for the sheer joy of playing, and part of that pleasure is the time you spend each day sitting down at your piano, then the number of hours that you need to use is of course very different. Next, of course, we need to think about how quickly we want to improve. It may well be that there's a specific deadline we need to meet. That could be as simple as practicing a piece for a friend's birthday party to needing to pass all of our grades before we can apply for a place at university. If you have a deadline coming up, then clearly you need to work out how much work do you need to do to meet that deadline and adjust your practice time accordingly. The other way, of course, is to simply turn the question on its head and ask ourselves how much time can we realistically devote each day to practicing the piano. We then make sure that that amount of time is consistent with the goals that we've got. Clearly, if we want to be a world-renowned concert pianist on 30 minutes a day, then it's never going to happen, is it? So let's say then that we have an hour every day. An hour is a lot of time. There's an awful lot that can be achieved in an hour if it's used properly. In fact, for beginners, I'd even go as far as to say that probably 30 minutes is plenty, simply because at the beginner level, there's such a lot of different things to learn. We can't particularly read music very well. Even simple five finger exercises take a lot of effort and concentration. So 30 minutes would probably be quite mentally draining initially. If your ambition is to be a good pianist, let's say, so by that I mean you want to be able to get up to say a grade eight standard, you want to be able to play those pieces well, well, to my mind, an hour, again, is plenty of time, unless you're in a great rush to get up to that kind of standard. Let's say you have some kind of deadline to finish all of your exams, then if you're spending an hour a day practicing, you might find that what you need to do is focus exclusively on work related to your exams and don't allow yourself to be distracted by learning other pieces as well. If you want to be able to carry on doing other pieces, then you might choose for a short period of time to increase your practice up to maybe an hour and a half or two hours. I would say though that anything probably beyond two hours for what I'll call a hobbyist needs to be treated a little with care. Even Horowitz was quoted as saying that he didn't really see the point in practicing much more than two hours a day because that led to playing that became mechanical. 
If, of course, your ambition is to go to diploma and beyond standard and become, you know, a concert pianist, then clearly the amount of time you're going to need to invest in practicing is going to be considerably more. I remember my very last piano teacher all those years ago who thought I should try to apply for the Royal Academy at the time. She thought that anything less than four hours a day really didn't cut it. And to be honest with you, it was probably my trying to practice for four hours a day that largely contributed to my stopping playing piano altogether. Therefore, I think if this is where your ambitions lie, then definitely get yourself some really good specialised advice, not only in terms of how long to practice, but in terms of how to practice. In terms of what actually constitutes practice, then I featured this photo here before, because not only does it make me laugh, but it does very cleverly show a mistake that we can all very easily fall into when we're practicing. In a nutshell, if we're spending most of our daily practice time just keep playing through pieces, mistakes and all, in the view that eventually the mistakes will probably correct themselves, then we probably shouldn't really be counting this as practice time at all. In Graham Fitch's ebook series, he quotes a concert pianist of the last generation, he doesn't say who the pianist is, that was asked why he never made any mistakes in a concert. And the pianist simply responded, because I never practice any. And that might sound a little tongue in cheek, but in fact it's not. One of the key things we need to remember is that we all say practice makes perfect, but in reality what practice does is it makes permanent. So if for you practicing is just repeating stuff, errors and all, then what you're actually doing is making those mistakes permanent. Therefore, we need to think about practice not so much in terms of an amount of time we spend doing something, but in terms of that we're trying to problem solve, we're trying to find errors, we're trying to understand why we make the error, then we're trying to fix that error. It's only then, once we start repeating a passage that's error-free, are we actually making what we want to play permanent? And that's the point at which our practice is working. So even if you're just managing to repeat 10 notes over and over again, but perfectly each time, you're making progress. Regular viewers, I'm sure, will know that perhaps one of the biggest discoveries I believe I've made since returning to the piano is that you need to learn how to practice. When I played in my teens, to be honest, I sort of relied on my natural ability to get through, and eventually that failed me. And because I didn't know properly how to practice things, I couldn't make any further progress. In short, there's absolutely no reason to need to spend hours and hours at the piano. For most of us, an hour or two will largely suffice. And to be honest, even 30 minutes every day spent practicing correctly and productively will pay dividends in the long run. I've released quite a few videos that you can watch in my practice tips playlist that I've linked for you here. And these are all about different ways that you can practice different pieces of music. And I highly recommend also that you think about getting hold of Graham Fitch's Practice Piano ebook series. I found them absolutely invaluable and they give you lots of insight into different ways that you can make practicing not only more interesting, but a lot more productive. Then I'm sure that you'll start to stop asking yourself the question about how long do you need to practice, but more about how do you need to practice. If you're not already, then please do remember to subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner and click, of course, on that little bell icon so you're notified of new videos as and when they're released. I thank you very much for watching today and I'll see you next week.